we're actually framing ourselves. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. <laughs> a lot of you know we've been uh, living in our apartment for the past eight years and we are renters and our walls are still empty. Yeah, so we're gonna tackle that today with some big inexpensive art. Yes, we're gonna make a large custom frame to fill our walls. Let's get started. So we were looking into a lot of different ways to make a stretched frame for lack of better terms. And there are a lot of different ways to do it, but we wanted to find a way that used minimal materials, inexpensive, and something we could do in our apartment without a lot of, um, you know, power tools. Yes, yeah, so we're uh, using one by twos and yep. a Meyer box. Yeah, and a drill. I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So we measured our space and we wanted it to be 40 by 26. So let's start measuring and let's start cutting. So if you haven't seen one of these before, you can pick them up at your hardware store. They're uh, perfect for renters and people without a, a big budget. Uh, they come with uh, angles here that you can cut a 90 degree angle or a 45 degree angle, which we're gonna be using today. That's right. So every piece is gonna have two 45 degree angles and then we're gonna put it all together just like that. Look alive, folks, look alive. All right, we got our first one done. We're just gonna measure. Here, Let's do 40, 40 inches. We're using hand tools here, so we're not gonna get a perfect, perfect cut. Um, there's some give and some space in between each um, angle here. So we're actually gonna use the first piece that we cut to measure on the second piece so that we get uh, the, the angles lined up as perfectly as we can. Here we go, all hands on deck. You're almost there, you're almost there. All right. Flip wow, it up. Beautiful, beautiful cut. I'd do say. Do you want me to do this one? How dare you? Well, if you're gonna offer. All right, our sides are done. That's great. And they look pretty good. All right, I'm gonna start measuring out the next piece. And it's great because one side is already cut. So we're gonna use that. 26 inches. Come Here, you on. You want me to take over? No. Okay, okay. I don't need no man. <laughs> All right. Okay. You should have like a, like a time butter. lapse there just days later. All right, we're gonna measure this like we did before. Last cut. Okay, darling. All right, sweetheart. Watch your hands, sweetheart. All right. Done. <laughs> wow. My hero. Don't do this. All right, so now we're gonna start to put our frame together. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to pre-drill the holes before we screw it together, just so that uh, the screws go in nice and straight. And uh, just when you're pre-drilling, you wanna make sure that your drill bit is smaller than the size of the screw, because um, you don't wanna screw that up. Hey. hey. Jokes. When we were at the hardware store, we were looking for screws that would fit in that were nice and long, but wouldn't be too thick that would split the wood. When you do drill the screw in, you do wanna be careful when you start to get to the end, not to go too far, cause that will uh, split the wood just a little bit. We're gonna start drilling in our wood screws. We're gonna do it diagonally. So we're gonna start on this end, then go here and then here and then there. It just helps it all come together a little easier than going clockwise or counterclockwise. Just helps it fit. All right, so we have our two pieces and now we're gonna put those two pieces together. We're actually framing ourselves. <laughs> we tried this with wood glue, we tried this with staples, and it was just too flimsy, but look yes. at this. All right, so now that our frame is done, we are going to wrap it with some fabric. Now we were looking for a lot of different types of fabric. We wanted something a little heavier, nothing that stretched too much, and we actually are gonna be using our old shower curtain. But first we should sand this, uh, just so that when we wrap our fabric, it doesn't pull or rip the fabric as we're working. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut out the extra bulk. bulk, leaving enough on the sides to wrap so we can staple it. Yeah. 
we're gonna be using our staple guns. So you wanna start with a few staples on one side just to kind of get the fabric where you want it and then start adding more staples on the other side just to kind of create tension uh, and also just so it doesn't create any weird uh, warping or bubbling. Um, that will kind of help keep your fabric secure and in place. And of course, you can check your work as you go, make sure everything's lining up properly. How's it looking? Ooh, it looks good. It looks good. <clears throat> and we're going to kind of ignore the corners now and come back to them. We're gonna start with the top and the bottom here. So now we're just gonna cut away all this extra fabric. So there are a lot of different ways you can do the edges. It really depends on the type of fabric you have. Uh, the way we're going to do it today is we're gonna staple close to the edge. And then we're going to pull the edge and then just pull it back just like that. And I'm just gonna staple it. Depending on your space, you could hang this up just with the nail right up top here, but we're gonna add uh, some wire just to make it, you know, hang as easy as possible. So we're just gonna measure down. What, a foot is probably good? Yeah. Nailed it. Oh, ah, wow. I mean, cute. considering I think we awesome. spent maybe $10 on the wood and the screws, uh -huh. this looks great. You know, and this is so great if you have uh, an old throw rug you could wrap a around, towel, a towel, clothing, a blanket. Yeah, get creative, use what you got. What kind of big art would you make? Let us know with a comment below. Give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.